Hi everybody, this is Adrian, and welcome to day 21 of our 21 days of praise. We've had a run of it, and thank I thank and praise God today. Let me tell you, today uh, has been a day. I mean, I've had to resist some things today, some bitterness today tried to sneak up on me. I had a good dream, but then as soon as I woke up, you know, here come old slew for you know, there's uh, three times of day that the enemy will try you okay when you first wake up right before you go to sleep and every other time in between that's right those are the three times that he will try you <laughs> but he tried me i mean i woke up from a good dream and i felt refreshed i had prayed before i went to sleep of course and asked the lord to just speak to me in my sleep and show me some things that maybe i was missing and he gave me a great dream and i said okay i'm taking that as a Yes, Lord. And then I got up and then he just brought some stuff back to my memory. <laughs> Trying to get bitter. But we're not focusing on the problems. We are focusing on the promises. And so today, for our 21st day, we want to close out strong. And we've been pulling it in all day. We had to. Um, just before I sat here and talked to you, I had to pull it in again. But God is good, and we are determined to, throughout this day, give Him praise. We're going to be coming from Matthew, the uh, 11th chapter, Matthew 11 and 28. And it reads, Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, <laughs> and I will give you rest. Then Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest well okay we're gonna stop playing and get serious but you know what I mean you know you go through things you you experience things and you have uh, challenges on a daily basis and living challenges you know you have uh, responsibilities you have family you have personalities you're dealing with you're dealing with your own self you know uh, those of us who have been uh, have raised our children and now we have young adult children many of us are our children are um, marrying and, they, and our children are not only marrying but they, they're becoming parents themselves and so um, at that same time that we're enjoying all those things at the same time many of us are taking care of our parents and you know and all of these things that we're doing could sometimes make you feel like this scripture and know why Jesus said when this promise come to me, all of you who are weary, just tired, and carry heavy burdens, you know, and you know, when you're carrying something, it doesn't mean like you're naturally just walking around with something. It's just emotionally, you know, and mentally um, what you're dealing with. And so Jesus makes this promise to you, come to me, all that are tired, you know, you're just weary. And you're not, you're not giving up, but you're just tired. He says, come to me. He says, come to me, all of you who are weary, and you're carrying all that heavy stuff. Come unto me, and I will give you rest. It takes us right back to Psalms 23, when it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. You know, he leadeth me besides the still waters. He restores my soul. Hallelujah, that's the rest that the Lord was talking about here. So we have a promise from God that if we are weary, just tired, and if we're carrying heavy stuff, guess what? We have a living Savior, not a dead one, but a living Savior who will take those things from us and give us some peace and some rest time. Now, when I say rest, you know, because when, I, when, when the Lord first spoke to me about resting, I'm like, I don't want to die. But the Lord was calling me home, y'all. <laughs> but that's not the rest that he's talking about. He's talking about a peace that passes understanding. He's talking about a comfort and a place in God. Like, under those wings of his shadow. You know, he said, those that, you know, you know, rest in that secret place of the Most High God will abide under the shadow of the Almighty, under the shadow of the Almighty. That's under that shadow, those everlasting arms that we talked about for support that will be supporting you. You know, that's a good place to rest. 
underneath him, up under those arms. That's a nice place to be. And the Lord promised you that if you love me and if you serve me, just come on. Come on, all you that are tired and carrying some heavy stuff. I'm going to give you some peace. I'm going to give you some comfort. I'm going to allow you to just renew and be restored so that you can go on and win, win, win every single battle. That's the Savior that we serve and we love him. And we're going to keep the praises high. <laughs> we're going to keep our eyes on the promises and not the problem. Look, y'all, this is real. This is real. You know, it's real, but we can do it. And we're going to not just, you know, say, oh, I'm still standing. No, we're going to do more than just like, oh, I'm still standing. We're going to stand strong. Hallelujah. We're going to stand strong. And every time the enemy slaps or he punches us, you know, we take it. Hallelujah. We, we get our stance back on and we like, let's bring it a little better than that because I'm going to stand strong. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's keep praising God. Let's let the enemy know that we stand as strong. We stand as strong in the word. We stand as strong in faith. We're not going to give up. You know, we might get a little weary, but we have a promise that when we feel that way and when we get that way, we can come to the Lord. Hallelujah. And he will give us rest. God bless you. It's been my absolute pleasure to come to you for these 21 days. Love you. God bless you. And keep us in your prayers. Bye-bye.